Hello, welcome. This is the story of Port Adelaide and the Carlton Football Club. Two teams with very rich histories, respectively. Now, Port Adelaide obviously came into the competition or into the AFL, recognized as one of the teams in the AFL in the late 90s. But prior to that, they are one of, if not the greatest teams <laughs> in football history when it comes to total games played and, and obviously the success that they've had at the Sandful level. Very rich, proud history of the Port Adelaide Football Club. And so going into this week's matchup with us, I thought we must, we must reflect, we must look back and we must tell the stories of both clubs from both sides. So it's interesting. We've only played Port Adelaide 35 times in the AFL era. Port Adelaide have won 21 of those matches. We've won 14. The last five, 4-1 to Port Adelaide. Obviously, Carlton winning in 2022 in a thriller. So I wanted to go through the best, our best and our worst memories of playing Port Adelaide. There's a few memories, there's a few games that come up for me. I settled on the following. So I guess we'll start with the worst, right? I think that would be the most logical way to do things. The worst moment against Port Adelaide is a weird one because I thought we played pretty well that day. And that was the infamous Robbie Gray kick after the siren. Absolute peach of a kick. We were a team that... On the Carlton side of things, we thought we were on the rise. We thought it was time. We thought we were, you know, marching into that next layer of evolution of the team. We had added a few plays in the off season. We had started the season not too well, but we had won a few matches and sort of squared the ledger, so to speak. So we played Port G and Robbie Gray, mate. Robbie Gray with a, a dagger in the hearts of all the Carlton supporters. That was... One of the worst moments. I mean, anytime you lose after the siren has to be pretty bad, even though that game was a pretty good game of footy. We started pretty well from memory. Uh, we looked to, to open them up and then they just clawed their way back and, and put the dagger in our hearts at the very end. And that I think was the, the worst memory. My best memory playing against Port Adelaide would have to be round 23, 2013. So... We cast our minds back. This was a really unique time in the history of not only our football club but the AFL. In that the Essendon saga had really unfolded. It was looking like there was a spot open in the final series, in the final series, in the top eight, and we needed to beat Port Adelaide to clinch a spot. Um, after the Bombers were, were ruled out of finals contention that year. And it was not a good game for the first three quarters. Uh, Port Adelaide up by 16 at quarter time. They stretched it out to 32 at, at half time. Three quarter time, Port Adelaide up by 29 points. Mind you, this game was in Adelaide. <laughs> it was in Adelaide, believe it or not. And I don't know what happened this day. We found something. We found something that day. And we ended up pinching the game by one point. And the, there's, a, there's two memories from that game that I remember. One is a Bryce Gibbs goal. And the other one is a Mark Murphy goal. Mark Murphy was the captain at the time. He was probably still in the, the prime of his powers, even though he had, you know, was never really the same after that collarbone shattering at the hands of Luke Hodge. And I remember him streaming into goal. And I remember the scenes. I was watching it from home. And, you know, it was so weird because we we weren't in the top eight. Had things been normal, we would not have even been in contention for the top eight. But all of a sudden, a chance opens up. And I don't know what happened that day. They found something and we were in the white Guernseys and, and we got it done. And uh, that was that was one of the my more fond memories. the My most fondest memory playing against Port Adelaide. Uh, Kane Corns, one Brownlow vote. Brad Ebert, two Brownlow votes. Brad Ebert, Brad Ebert is now an assistant coach at the Carlton Football Club, funnily enough. And Mark Murphy with three Brownlow votes that day. So that was my best memory. And 
yeah, there've been there've been quite a few games that I think will come up. I'm curious to see your memories, so please leave a comment below, share with me your best and your worst memory playing against Port Adelaide. And if there are any Port Adelaide supporters who are watching this, make yourselves known. Welcome to the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. Let us know what are your memories playing against Carlton and what are your best and worst memories. I look forward to seeing everyone's perspective and see you in the preview. Yeah! 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 Yeah!